Hey folks, how y'all doing and welcome back to my channel. My name is Leonard and you're watching The Product Reviewer. Now, thanks for taking a bit of your time off today to watch my video and today we're going to talk about the Maze Fit Band 5 and I gotta tell you up front that this is a pretty good fitness tracker. Now, it has its flaws like basically every fitness tracker has, but besides of that, it's very solid. Now, let's start with the review and the first thing we gotta talk about is the design since it's the most obvious and some technical details. The Macefit Band 5 has a 1.1 inch AMOLED display, is water resistant up to 5 ATM, has a stunning battery life of about 2 weeks and you can get this fitness tracker in the colors black, green and orange. The case is made of plastic and has a smooth rubber strap. Of course this tracker has Bluetooth 5.0 but no wireless LAN and no built-in GPS, so you have to use your smartphone's GPS. As long as you have a smartphone with at least Android 5.0 or iOS 10, you won't have a connectivity problem. Now with all of that being out of the way, let's hit some features and I will start with the heartbeat sensor and the SPO2 feature. So basically like with every smartwatch or fitness tracker, you get a heartbeat sensor which can track your heart rate 24 seven. Of course, you can adjust it so it only tracks your heart rate every 10 or 30 minutes. That's how you will save some battery life by the way. Now I compared the fitness tracker to my Polar H10 chest band and the results are okay-ish. So on my 50 minute strength workout, the tracker gave me an average heartbeat of 101 and maximum of 130 beats per minute. And a chest band 107 on average and 151 on maximum. Also, I burned 389 calories with the chest band, whereas on the MA Band 5, I just burned 300. So it's definitely not the most accurate when you're comparing it with the chest band. But I ordered something fit too as well and comparing these two is a whole different story. Now these two almost had the same result in every aspect. Now over to the SPO2 feature. Now if you flip the tracker around we have this little red and green lights which are the SPO2 and the heart rate sensors. Now unlike with the Fitbit or the other smartwatches you can check your blood oxygen level on demand which is pretty cool. Now correct me if I'm wrong but this tracker is the only tracker out there that has this little feature. As for the next part we're gonna talk about the different sport modes. Overall the Maze Band 5 has 11 different sport modes that you can choose from. So it only gives you some basic modes like running, walking, swimming or freestyle which are mostly used for strength training. Also at the end of every workout you get a quick summary of your stats like average and maximum heartbeat, steps, burn calories and the time you worked out. Next to the main tracking features that we already have talked about there are a few more like breathing exercises or stress tracking. The breathing exercise is basically a guided breathing session between 1 and 5 minutes. The stress tracking tracks your stress either throughout the day or on demand and gives you a score between 1 and 100. 1 being the best which they call relaxed and 1 is the worst which is high. Now for all of the women out there this fitness tracker also includes a cycle tracking feature. Now on the band itself if you scroll down you can always check your stats for the day. So you get to see your daily steps, burn calories, distance and idle alerts. Now idle alerts are just little pop ups on your fitness tracker that tells you that you should move around a little bit more. Also, you get to see your steps for the last 7 days. If we scroll down further, we have the PI. PI is the Physiological Activity Indicator, which will give you a score based on your heart rate, daily activities, sex and a lot more. The higher the number, the better it is. And you can see your PI score for the last 7 days as well on your tracker. Next we have the heartbeat and the SPO2 feature that we already have talked about. Now on the Maceband 5 you can receive notifications like WhatsApp, Snapchat, Instagram and a lot more, basically every app that you have on your smartphone, but you cannot quick answer them. You can call notifications as well, but like with every fitness tracker, it's just a vibrating reminder that your smartphone is ringing. The only thing you can do is to silent the call or to reject it. The Amazement 5 also has a weather app, which shows you the weather for a whole week. Next up is the music player. It is not Spotify or Deezer or something like that. It's just a regular music player with which you can play and pause, go back a track and skip a track and adjust the volume. So let's get to the biggest selling point, which is the Alexa Voice Assistant. Now as far as I know, the Amazement 5 is the only fitness tracker out there that has this feature included. Now first off, you have to connect Alexa with your MSN account. For that, you have to go to the Zap app and your profile. And over here, you will find Add Account. Now just connect your Amazon account and you're ready to go. So let's give it a try. Who is the president of America? Since the band has no speakers, the only thing you will get is a little text with the answer. You can also control all of your Alexa devices at your home. Since I don't have any, I cannot show you, but I promise you it works. As for last, let's take a look at the Zap app. I really like this tracking app, design-wise. You have a very clean front page. Right here, all of your stats are being tracked, like SpO2, heartbeat, stress, and so on. You get to see all of your past workouts and PI score. 
Now, we haven't talked about the sleep tracking feature yet, so let's do this right quick. Like with every fitness tracker or smartwatch, the Maze Band 5 also has a sleep tracking and is actually pretty, pretty accurate. Now, you get a score based on your sleep quality, so mine is 79 right now. It also tells you how much time you spend in deep sleep, light sleep, REM or awake. And if you take a nap sometimes, those will be tracked as well. Now, I don't want to go too detailed into the Zap app, but you can customize a whole lot in there. Now folks, if you got that far into the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. It only takes two clicks and it's for free and it helps me out a lot. Now, with that being said, I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.